There is nothing better. We did all that job and keep it updated because we know the customers, the users just need it. Lustre is good at the very high end. You couldn't go for Exascale if we would not have kept it. We also see Lustre in an even broader market, just to use the big data from one of the servers to another, from one machine to another, you need it. So you need it, if you see a pyramid, you need it from the very high end to the broad market, to the enterprise market. It's the tons and loads of data you can shift in a very performant and solid way. Certainly it does. Even more, it will come up. As I said, we come from the very high end and now we go into the enterprise market because there is a tremendous need for it. Big data and luster, you might not have seen that maybe two or three years ago because it was purely high performance computing. Now, if you see big data, that big data has to be shifted from one system to another, inside a system, in and out, and luster is just best for that to do it. You see it here in Paris at LAD, you see it at Lustre user group meetings. It's a great community where developers and users join together. You almost don't see that in other fields in high performance computing, where you have that close relationship and that spirit between developers and users. And both of them, both sides know that they're working just for the best. So nothing really moves data like Cluster. Um, you're seeing it consistently in the top 500, these big, massive capability machines, um, terabyte per second, you're hearing that more and more now, petascale. Um, and it's, it's really providing that kind of level of capability that nothing else can. What is Lustre best for? Um, really, I think there's three things Lustre is, is absolutely geared for. One is providing the, the linear scale-out, high-performance, capable storage applications. Um, the second is um, providing the, the ability to manage that data. So you're seeing the advent of, of HSM and Robinhood and things like that that will really let you understand and, and manage kind of a life cycle of a file system in production. Does Lustre have a role to play in the enterprise? Absolutely. I think there's a lot of the science applications that are being moved kind of down market, and the hardware is kind of coming up from the other side to meet in the middle, and there's a lot of need for a file system that'll give that performance and allow the users to pump out the data they need for those, those kind of analytics. So the Lustre community, um, I, I think it absolutely is, is, is growing. You're seeing the largest ever um, conference here in Paris. Um, we had a fantastic lug. You're looking at two more um, lugs showing up in, in Asia, Asia Pacific. Um, and it's, it's actually getting to be a lot of fun. I think people are, we're, we're kind of getting to the next level where we're starting to put, put more bells and whistles around Luster and, and really the collaboration um, it is, is kind of fun to watch. I think you're seeing the community kind of pull, Lustre's pulling that group um, together with the, the high performance computing and now into the enterprise market. Uh, a lot of collaboration, uh, especially at these conferences, um, uh, and making sure that we're providing a good ecosystem that'll provide uh, a f open source capable file system for these, these users. Why Luster? Oh, for so many reasons. Luster is fast, it's scalable, it's open. Uh, if you don't like what's there, you can tweak it. That's what we've done at Indiana.
if you don't like what's there, you can tweak it. That's what we've done at Indiana. Um, in terms of scalability, we started out, uh, we had maybe 500 terabytes. Uh, you know, all in all, we have, uh, you know, five petabytes now. Um, <laughs> who'd have thought? We started with maybe uh, 14 gigabytes a second, and now we're measuring, you know, 50 gigabytes a second. So. Uh, as we have grown, it's grown with us, we're continuing to grow, and we anticipate that Luster will grow with us. In the enterprise space, uh, I think that Luster can provide the same scalability uh, and speed that it's been providing the research community for years. Uh, I started with Luster 10 years ago. I anticipate that 10 years from now, we're going to see uh, Luster all over the enterprise space. When I think of Luster, I think of community. I think of the fact that uh, we have a strong, vibrant community of people that are committed to the code. Uh, they're committed to the process of developing the code. Uh, they're committed to pushing the boundaries of what's possible with storage in terms of speed and scalability. When you think of Luster, what's the first thing that pops in your mind? Eric Barton's purple fuzzy jacket. <laughs> <laughs> Which is missing this year. It's a kind of. I know it's it's, it's really you know. A real loss. Uh, basically, anything that you can do in a short amount of time can also be done in a long amount of time. That's also a joke. So. Uh, Why luster? Well, it, it's probably the most scalable, high performance open source file system available today. It's, it's providing stability um, to some of the largest scale computational environments in, in the world. Um, and we're currently able to store multiple petabytes of data and move data in and out of uh, Luster at uh, over a terabyte per second in multiple sites, such as the, the K computer in Japan, Oak Ridge National Laboratory's uh, uh, latest uh, deployment with Titan and Spider 2. Uh, it's simply the most capable file system on the market that's open source. When I think of Luster, what do I think of? I, I, I guess what I, I think of first and foremost is a passionate community. In fact, it's, a, it, it's an honor to, to work with this community where you have passionate developers, passionate um, users, people who are really dedicated to the technology and who have been dedicated to the technology for well over a decade now. That type of continuity of community and diversity of community has taken Luster to where it's at today, making it uh, one of the most competitive uh, products in the big data space for data storage and, and data access. Um, and I, I see a bright future moving forward with this strong community that's, uh, that's really rallied uh, uh, around uh, Luster. So join us, join us within uh, OpenSFS and, and help us move this technology forward with a, a community that's just passionate about the technology. Good job. Thanks. Thanks. You did it. All right. Thanks. Thanks for doing that. Yep. So you want me to tell you a little bit about the configurations of Luster at uh, at Oak Ridge National Lab? It's actually very interesting question. We've got a, a large diversity of uh, a, a diverse set of of deployments at Oak Ridge, spanning large-scale HPC systems. Everybody has heard about Titan in the HPC space, but what people might not be aware of is we're using Luster now for data-intensive workloads. We're using it to archive high-value data sets from um, large-scale scientific instruments, such as the Spallation Neutron Source, uh, in fact, the world's brightest or the, the world's uh, uh, most uh, uh, powerful uh, neutron source. Um, and we're using Luster as a critical technology as part of that infrastructure. Does Lustro have a role to play in the enterprise? I, I think absolutely, today it does. If you would have asked me five years ago, I would have said, mm, science project, right? Um, because we're, we're really scaling up the, the, the infrastructure and spend a lot of time working on scale. Well, in the past five years, we've been increasingly had our eye on stability, right? And manageability of the infrastructure, which is critically important as we move to the enterprise. Now, the enterprise is being uh, confronted with large scale data challenges that can't be met by uh, many of the traditional file system offerings, be it NFS or, or other technologies. Luster's well positioned now that we've put uh, our res resources be behind stabilization, uh, maintainability, and the product is becoming extremely mature. 
<laughs> why is hierarchical storage management such a critical component of a, of a Lustre uh, file system deployment? It, it depends on the site, but for many sites, they want to be able to use low cost, um, low performance media for storing vast oceans of data and have the ability to transparency, transparently interact with that low performance storage through their traditional high performance infrastructure so you can easily stage data sets in and out of low performance, low cost storage, but still get the high bandwidth that's available in your primary storage environment. Uh, a, a critical feature that CEA uh, rose to, to the challenge of developing, uh, in fact, probably one of the, the largest uh, uh, c contributions from, uh, from the community uh, to date, and uh, we look forward to that being in, uh, in the latest uh, Lustre release, Lustre 2.5. Why Lustre? Well, if you're going to move big data around at, uh, at maximum possible speed, you need Lustre. When I think of Lustre, I think of big data. I think of moving massive amounts of data at ultra high speed. Does Lustre have a place in the enterprise? Absolutely it does. Uh, we've been studying big data now in our publication for a couple of years and uh, we, we see tremendous need and a growing need to move data at high data rates and supply these analytics uh, with the information they need.